Hello everyone, in this video what we are going to see is Azure Service Principle. We have covered most of the security concepts such as SaaS URI, Azure Managed Identities in our earlier videos. If you haven't watched them, I will be providing the URL in the video description. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. To explain this scenario, let's consider a simple example where Azure Data Factory needs to access your Azure Storage account. There are three steps which we need to follow. First one is creating a registration. Think like uh, generating an ID card for it. And next step is creating secret. So think like you are attaching a photo to your ID card. And the third step providing access. Let's say for example, a person A is supposed to enter this room. Likewise, we can uh, grant access, right? So similarly here as well, we will provide access for our, that particular identity in our blob storage. And in the final step, we will be using the secret which we have created in our second step and we will be trying to access the resource let's say for example storage account now let's get started what we are going to do is we have one azure storage account and we have an azure data factory as well we want to create a link from our azure data factory to access this storage account so we are going to do this with the help of service principal let's see how to do it navigate to portal.azure.com and just click on this icon and here you will find Microsoft Extra ID. So just click on it. And here we will have the tenant ID details and all. Just directly navigate to app registration. Under this registration, as a first step, we need to create one registration for our application, meaning like here for Azure Data Factory, we need to create one registration. So let me go and create a new registration. Just click on this. Let me provide a name to our registration. So this is the name for my app registration and these are the supported account types. I'm going with single tenant because mine is a single tenant one. So I'm just selecting it and redirect URI. You can just leave it. This is optional. Just click on register. So we have created a registration for our, our application and we need to create a secret. And this secret we will be using in our Azure Data Factory to say this registration belongs to Azure Data Factory. So let me create a secret first of all. So go here. Here you have two options, client secret and then certificate. If, if you prefer certificate, you can just go ahead and upload a certificate. But we are going with client secret. So just click on this. Create a secret. And here you have an option to set the expiry date. I'm just leaving it for 24 months. If it got expired, maybe you can uh, generate a new client secret from here again. Just click on add, copy it somewhere. And this is the value we are going to use it. So let me have it somewhere. So this is our secret. And if you just click on it, I mean uh, our app registration. So here just copy the client ID and let me paste it over here. This is client ID. Okay. So these two values are required in uh, to fill out in Azure Data Factory. Now, we need to provide access to this identity in storage account. Then only we can use it in uh, Azure Data Factory or else it will show connection as failure. So we need to provide access to this particular identity. So in order to do it, just copy the name of this registration and go here and under access control IAM just go here and click on add role assignment and here you have a privileged administrator role which will be providing for uh, users and this is for job function role uh, meaning like Azure Data Factory logic app so these kind of jobs if you want to grant access you, you need to do it from here under this you need to provide the exact access you need I need blob data contributor so this is the access I need for my Azure Data Factory, just click on next. And here it is automatically selected as user group or service principal. Just click to add members. And here we need to provide our registration name. Just provide it over here. And this is the one. Let me select and review and assign. That's it. Now uh, it will take around five minutes for the access to reflect. In the meantime, I will be going to my Azure Data Factory. Under Azure Data Factory, if you go to Manage and Linked Service, here only we will be creating a link to various uh, services. 
just click on new and here search for blog so this is the one and here I'm going to leave the name as it is and here we need to select the type of authentication we need we need service principle we have already covered these and all so I'm going with service principle now so now we need to provide a storage account name so this is our storage account name and tenant name is already filled if you uh, want to know the tenant name you can just go ahead here and copy this part we need to provide the service principal ID our client ID is our service principal ID so let me copy this and paste it and service principal credential type here we have two options one is service principal key and another is service principal certificate in our registration if you remember we have generated secret and we have the value and all uh, with us if you have a certificate you can go with this option and you can select certificate over here and you can upload your certificate as of now we have went with service principal key so here and here we need to provide the secret value which we have it over here so let me copy this and you can just click on test connection actually it will take some time for access to be granted anyway I'm just clicking it yeah the connection is successful so this is how you will grant access with the help of service principal follow me on my whatsapp and telegram group to get instant updates if you find this video helpful do like and comment so that youtube algorithm will push this video to multiple users see you on my next video follow me on linkedin to stay connected